pull the peacock's feathers. Someone tied up the octopus. Someone unstriped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock With Yak. With your me right by his side, the bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. Yeah. All the dreams and all the dogs. He's and mean and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who furs up Mrs. Penguin? You who, Mrs. Penguin? Are you home? I'm coming for my ice cubes for my cocktail party. Er, it's colder than cold in here. Too cold. Ah, choo! Ah, there you are. So, any cool news these days? Can you hear me, Mrs. Penguin? Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Sherlock, it's me. Hmm? Good morning. Take hmm. a look at what Tiger painted for me. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's a still life. What? Of course not. Wait, let me huh? guess. It's a cathedral. No, it's a cello. A goldfish. Oh, no, it's me. Tiger painted my portrait. Pretty nice, huh? Hmm. Just between us, I think Tiger is a little bit in love with me. Dear Hermione, that picture does not do you justice. You look much better in real life. Oh, thank you. So, does that mean you think you can do better than this? Of course I can. I have a very well-developed artistic sense. Hmm. Merry Christmas, Master. Huh? Oh. Uh. Hmm? A new dish rag? No, it's a new tunic for you. I made it myself. Hmm? Numerous are the obstacles that stand in the way of creation. Thank you, Master. Hmm. I'm a natural-born artist. To prove it, I'll make a nice portrait of you before the day's out. Really? That's very nice. I can't wait to see. Hmm? This is Sherlock Yak. By all the trees and all the zoos, I'm on the go. Hermione, a very hot case awaits us. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> It appears that Mrs. Penguin was subjected to temperatures below that of the fusion of water, thus keeping her in a state of hypothermia and causing a deep state of lethargy. <laughs> she got all frozen up. Hmm, strange. Who do you think could have done that? I might know who the culprit is. Uh, is anyone upset with you? Yes, because of the self-portrait competition organized by Marabou. For the contest, I started working with ice sculpture. We were three finalists. I have called this great work the Bird of Paradise Paradox. Hmm, quite acrobatic. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's me, with an old twig. I see. I mean, I smell. Hmm. And that is me, in the ice, on the ice. All right, on the ice. Hmm. After mm -hmm. deliberation by the jury made up of, well, myself, Hmm. I've decided unanimously with myself to give the prize to Warthog. Yeehaw! I won! Hmm. What? That's scandalous! Giving a prize to that sloppy oh. pile of mud made by that filthy Warthog! Calm down, Mrs. Penguin. After all, I also lost. But you don't see me getting upset. Oh, you, the two-bit painter! Just take care of your belly button. It's what you know how to do best. No. Oh. Mm. And all of that because of this foolish brute who can't recognize real talent! Hmm. The three of you are just a hmm. bunch of losers. Hmm. I won't see no. you around. So since then, we've been on the outs. Uh. So Marabou, Warthog, and Bird of Paradise have good reasons to be mad at you? Hmm. We'll interrogate them. But before that... We're going to look at the scene of the crime. Stop! I'll draw your portrait in front of these flower beds. It'll be perfect. But we're conducting mm -hmm. an investigation, Sherlock. It won't take long. Oh. There. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. You can come and see. Uh. Hmm? Uh. Uh, on second thought, don't come and look. Mm. The flowers didn't mm. come out the way I wanted. Let's go take a look at Mrs. Penguin's enclosure. Mm. Oh, it's a portrait of what? 
Hedgehog. Hachoo! Yeah! Hmm. Mm. To freeze up Mrs. Penguin, the culprit probably turned down the thermostat in Mrs. Penguin's enclosure. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're right, Sherlock. The thermostat is set on extreme cold. Hmm. Darn, I can't reach the handle. Mm -hmm. It's pushed in too far. Let me do that. There we go. Well, we already know that the culprit's arm is at least as long as yours. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, we're hot. Well, in a way. Ah. Anyway, I doubt this feather belongs to Mrs. Penguin. I'm afraid that'll be the only clue. This enclosure is quite spotless. Hmm. Now let's get out of here before we're turned into eye sculptures. Achoo! Bless you. Achoo! <laughs> To be mm -hmm. precise, the culprit mm -hmm. has a long arm and most likely a very bad cold. Oh. Good deduction, uh. Hermione. Let's go see the warthog. I can't say I was thrilled by Mrs. Penguin's comments. It was the first time I won, but I wouldn't uh. freeze her. Can I borrow a little mud? No problem. I got some all over. Even on your feet? Well, sure, it's normal. Hmm. Tell me, hmm. that back scratching stick is rather long. I don't use it for just my back. Oh, really? Could you use it to reach the handle of a thermostat, for example? Heck no, that's crazy. Hmm. One last question. Do you have a cold? Me? No. I always keep my mind at an ideal temperature. Pretty nice, as you can see. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. Hmm. Come on, Hermione. We're going to interrogate Marabou. But what about your sculpture? Hmm, another occasion, maybe. Let's not waste time. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's me with an old twig. That Sherlock sure is talented. Uh, mm. You have a cold. Yes, my health is very fragile. Why are you here? Mrs. Penguin got frozen up. Don't you find that chilling? Ah, too bad for her. She shouldn't have criticized me. Criticizing a critic. Imagine. It's my job to decide if a work is good or not. I hmm. understand. Does this feather belong to you? Oh. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I'm not very good with my wings. This feather doesn't belong to me. He's right. It's not the right color. Mm. Hmm. One small question, Marabou. Why did you say Warthog sculpture was the best? Was it his technique? Technique doesn't matter. You have to stop thinking with this and let yourself feel from here. That's mm. why the Warthog was the winner. His portrait was spontaneous and mm. sincere. Yes, I see. Could you possibly lend me a camera? Huh? Mm. Hmm. Really, Sherlock, this is ridiculous. Just admit that you're incapable of doing my hmm. portrait. I just hadn't found the right method with which to express myself, that's all. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, Mrs. Penguin's words left a chill in the air. But hmm. I am also mad at hmm. Marabou. Why didn't he give me the first prize? Because you're always painting the same old things? What? <laughs> I'll show you, you uncultured yak! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm warm-blooded, and I sometimes get into some cold fits of pique. As cold as Mrs. Penguin's enclosure? I didn't do that to her. I wouldn't lower myself. Is this feather yours? We found it at Mrs. Mm. Penguin's. Yes. I went to see her to ask her for an apology. <laughs> Your health is a little fragile, too. I have allergies. Why? So then, did you make a nice portrait of me? Hmm? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, darn, oh. bad news. I erased everything by mistake. Think of that. That's too bad, huh? However, I do have some good news. I know who the culprit is. Oh! What about you, young detective? I'm sure if you pay close attention, you can figure it out. Let's go over the case. Someone froze Mrs. Penguin by setting the thermostat in her enclosure on extreme cold. The culprit's arm is long enough to reach the handle of the thermostat and probably has a cold. <laughs> and so, who do you think did it? Marabou, Bird of Paradise, or Warthog? And so, have you found the culprit? Actually, the case is simple. Hmm. Warthog, you could have changed Mrs. Penguin's thermostat using your long scratching stick, but would you have caught a cold? 
Also, Mrs. Penguin's enclosure was spotless, which hmm. proves that you weren't there. Hmm. Bird of Paradise, you were upset by Mrs. Penguin's criticism and you have a cold. One of your feathers was also hmm. found in the enclosure. Hmm. But are your legs long enough to reach the thermostat? Achoo! No, the culprit certainly has a cold, hmm. but also has long legs to be able to reach the thermostat. Isn't that right, Mirabu? For the culprit is you! Me? Catch! Hey, that's a brand new camera. Are you insane? Not at all. Hmm. You've just proven that you're very agile with your long legs. Oh. Indeed, when Mrs. Penguin left her enclosure, you went into her place. You opened the trap door to the thermostat, and thanks to your long legs, you changed the temperature in the enclosure by putting it on extreme cold. I confess, but it's Mrs. Penguin's fault. She shouldn't have criticized my decision. <sighs> I therefore have to punish you, Marabou. <laughs> You'll help Mrs. Penguin crush ice cubes in her enclosure. It'll help you break the ice with her. Ha <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Say, be more careful. Look at these ice cubes. They're not the right size. Hmm. Your criticism leaves me cold. <laughs> oh, Hermione, you're right on time. I just finished your portrait. Oh, don't tell me it's a musical portrait with bagpipes. With bag... Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. Here, read this. Hmm. She's dynamic and very feminine. She's a miss hmm. who's both charming and efficient. She's got a zest for life. She's sometimes distracted, but never airheaded. That's Hermione, my favorite accomplice. It's very nice. Thank you, you were right. You're an artist. I stopped thinking with this and started expressing myself with this.